Hello! Welcome to Nikki's Kitchen! Today is the 243rd day. I'll show you how to make nanakusagayu or 7 herbs rice porridge. There's a custom of having this dish on January 7th. It was first introduced into Japan from China and then became popular during the Edo period. The original intention was to protect oneself against evil and invite good luck and longevity by eating the seven herbs that endure the cold winter. Also, people eat this porridge to give their stomachs a rest after eating too much holiday food. Well, let's get started cooking! They are nanakusa or seven leaves. Seri, Nazuna, Gogyo, Hakobera, Hotoke Noza, Suzuna, Suzushiro. Most Japanese people know those names. So, first, I'm gonna make Kayu or rice porridge. Place rice in a bowl and fill water. And rinse the rice and drain the water. Then wash the rice with fingers. Then fill water. Drain the water. Repeat this process two more times. Okay, then place the rice in a clay pot. Then add water. And put a lid. And heat a pot on medium heat until boils. When it comes to boil, turn down the heat to low and mix a little. And put a lid again and heat it on low heat for about 30 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm gonna prepare nanakusa. So first, thinly slice suzuna or turnip and suzushiro or daikon. Okay, then rinse seven kinds of leaves. Now boil water in a pot and add salt. Then place suzuna and suzushiro in the pot and boil for about 3 minutes. 
Well, three minutes have passed, so turn off the heat and take them to a cup. Then heat the pot again and add the leaves into the pot and boil for about one minute. Okay, so turn off the heat. Then drain the hot water. And rinse them. And squeeze them. Then cut the leaves into small pieces. Okay, so Nanaksa is ready. Okay, 30 minutes have passed. So now open the lid. Wow, it's done. And add salt. And add nanakusa into the pot. And mix lightly. Okay, it's done. So turn off the heat. Then serve porridge in a cup. Okay, that's it. It's time to eat. Itadakimasu. Mmm, it's simple and mild taste. You should try it. Well, tomorrow I'll cook mochi dish again. So, see you tomorrow.